Hi and welcome back to Cheeky Crypto. Today guys we're going to be jumping into the world of Steppen to see what's been going on with the price action of GMT. As I get into this video if you find it useful and informative hit the like button I really do appreciate that. If you happen to be new to the channel then why not go ahead and subscribe, tap the bell, select all notifications and in doing so you will be kept up to date with everything that we do here at Cheeky Crypto. If you haven't yet joined us in Discord links in the description down below. It's a fantastic community talking crypto 24 7. It's completely free and I don't think you'll be disappointed by what you find down there so why not go ahead and check it out today and uh, if you're looking for a little bit more from the crypto space everything from bear market strategies through to portfolios or project reviews and of course trading why not check out the uh, patreon services as well okay guys uh, with all that said done and out of the way let's jump into this right gmt paired up with usdt we're on the hourly chart binance is the data source now today obviously we are up 53 percent um and you know this is an interesting one it's, it's highly volatile um and you know it's actually a really interesting app that is built on the Solana ecosystem. So um, you're not going to go through fundamentals uh, for fundamental stuff. I'm just going to kind of really dive down into what is going on from a TA perspective here, why we're seeing this bounce to the upside and what we might expect to happen next. Okay. So the last time I looked at this uh, was in our discord server for a member down there. Um, and essentially we had this uh, rather complex, but uh, pretty simple 335 corrective play. And um, just coming down here, we bounced up and then we started to move back down again. Following the rest of the market, of course, this is not isolated to just GM. MT. Uh, pulling back down, we pulled back down relatively significantly, right? If we go ahead and just measure that, uh, we can see that we had a pullback of 71%, um, bled out pretty hard, and then obviously bounced back up again. Um, so what we're going to do is we're just going to see if there's any consistency with what's going on in here, if there's anything we should be kind of concerned with, or whether or not this is all just overlap and corrections. So looking at it, um, I wouldn't be overly too concerned. I uh, would probably say that that there is some kind of fourth maybe uh, it looks to me like a five three five move coming down but it is called corrective now this bounce coming up is pretty interesting so we'll check that out as well um so if we go ahead and just grab this we'll just run that there move it over to that section we can see that we just come up higher than the one to one um so again nothing too special there now bringing the stochastic rsi back into play and we can see that we are up in this overbought area the fourth hour is up in the overbought area the eight hour actually still has some progression to go uh the daily is actually in a really good spot the weekly doesn't really exist and i guess the monthly wouldn't either um so that actually means that from a stochastic rsi point of view we are probably looking for some kind of correction i would imagine this is going to be a short correction and then another push and surge up higher um bitcoin's into some kind of complex fourth wave right now where it has a very similar pattern so i think ultimately gmt is following suit but is pumping much 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 faster and harder um i think this comes down to the kind of way that it's being marketed um, by other influencers that might be being paid to kind of talk about it now obviously we're not paid to talk about it and um, this is my honest thoughts and opinions on the uh, i guess technical analysis of gmt now uh, what i'm looking at here as i think essentially is that that is going to be some kind of a we'll pull back down in some kind of b and then we'll surge up that surge there should take that eight hourly stochastic rsi up into the overbought area and then we can pull back down the importance of this is i think all of this here if we then bring this down is an a that could be our b and then we can come down lower into a c this c wave will be in line with bitcoin going down to about twenty two thousand nine hundred dollars and as i said it is kind of following the rest of the path here um for for bitcoin right so if bitcoin goes down gmt has pulled back down we've surged up with bitcoin we're surging up here with gmt and then we're going to pull back down with bitcoin and you know gmt is going to pull back down with it in my opinion okay so that's kind of the, the directional move that we're looking for um so let's go ahead and just check out where do we think this is as pullbacks likely to occur right um so if we've kind of completed this kind of move up then we're looking for an additional move down so we have a small micro movement inside there um abc like so and we will be looking at tracking some kind of abc coming down here and um, so what we're going to do is we're going to grab hold of the fibs uh we're going to run it from yeah the, from the bottom here uh, to the top and we're going to be looking for retracements now uh, we'll be looking for this area here specifically for a couple of reasons okay one this is the 50 percent retracement zone uh, on the fibonacci relationships okay um, but also this is an area that there was major resistance that we broke through so retesting this area is going to be the one that will make the most amount of sense uh, this basically is 
uh, $1.18.1. Okay, so that's going to be the zone. I'm going to just quickly mark that up right there. That's going to be my expectation. Uh, we would like to hold this area. If we don't hold this area, then we are going to come down much lower, and we are probably going to be retesting this lower range down here at about 95.2. Okay, so if you lose the support, you are going to go down ever so slightly lower. Uh, we should bounce from here, okay, and then we are probably going to pull back down again, going lower. And if this does happen, then our re my expectations will be that we'll probably revisit that low on the secondary move. And if I do this, you can see that that will basically put us roughly approximately this area. And um, so what I've done here, guys, is basically seen that an A wave could come down to test this previous level of result and uh, resistance and turn it into support. And then we bounce, we'll probably bounce up to the previous area of also resistance just across here, uh, get rejected and then pull back down, passing this area of what has become support and turn down into this lower area just down here of also consolidation, about 97.3, but we could also pull back into that 95 cent range. Okay, that would then actually complete this move. And if doing so, uh, and I have uh, accurately predicted that, then essentially uh, this will mean that we can then take uh, this measurement, if I actually go ahead and grab it here, move this over to our low point. I'll leave it at 97 for now, uh, meaning that we could potentially have the entire move correct out and finish on the larger macro A, B, and C, right up here at about $2.59. Um, okay, so basically $2.5.99. Okay, that would be the area. Now, I'll quickly, quickly just mark that up as well so that we have kind of my expectations uh, concreted in here. Let me just... Um, just gonna move that down ever so slightly. Actually, I've got to move it up, haven't I? Um, da, 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 go on five. There we go. Okay. Um, in fact, I might actually just change that to five nine nine six, just to be uh, absolutely uh, on point. There, just do that. Um, nope, that was five nine. Um, six, six, let me just, okay, that, there we go. Okay. So that there is the area that I'm looking for. Okay. So I'm thinking there's going to be quite a few different kind of emotions here that are going to be kind of built into everything that we've been talking about, right? We've pushed up quite significantly. We've seen 55% in gains. You're going to see this pullback for a couple of reasons. One, it's very natural for profits to get taken after such a significant surge. That profit should take us down or that, that kind of profit taking should take us down, hopefully to around the, the sub $1 dollar level briefly and then we surge back up almost doubling it in price um, by about uh, $2.059 right so that's basically what we're looking for we're basically looking for uh, we've had the surge up we look for the collapse we then push back up if you drop 50% you usually expect to see that by 100% afterwards and these are pretty standard practices within trading so that's kind of what my thoughts and opinions are on the here and the now uh, on the smaller time frame for GMT I will now clear off all of these and then we can just leave the moves as we can kind of see them I will also just just move that over there so we can see that a little bit clearer okay so hopefully that makes sense what about the large time frames well let's just go ahead and take a look at the daily here um, and if we just bring that up you can kind of see that we're pulling back down quite significantly here this push up to the upper side is going to probably be met with a deeper retracement and um, so knowing that we are potentially on the horizon of two dollars uh, before we see a pullback down we can go and measure that distance see this here and this could take us down to about 40 cent uh, this is a bigger macro play so it's going to think it's going to take a little bit of time to play out and um, but if you get to $2, I think parking up into some kind of stable coin, uh, maybe not UST, um, maybe something like USDC or something like that might be a good idea. Um, or you just kind of hodl this one and ride it out. I am seeing lows here of about 40 uh, cents uh, on this one. So I would be, you know, thinking that we are probably going to see an 80% crash from that two dollar range okay altcoins are going to get hit incredibly hard when bitcoin pulls back down um into that low kind of 20s range so just be very open to that this is a bounce this is a relief bounce profits are going to be taken and it is going to collapse down in my opinion to these lower ranges it seems crazy to think of this right now um i said the same thing when zillica was up at its pre uh, close to its previous all-time high uh, i said 4.2 cent and, and look at Zillica, right? It comes down. These, these are these are patterns that play out time and time again. You might not like to hear it, um, but I'm telling you, it not to, to kind of like you know to, to be mean or horrible or anything like that, but to prepare you for what could come here and to take advantage of these situations as they are presented to you. Um, it's obviously a chance that this doesn't play out. Um, you have to understand that that's also a real possibility. Uh, there are many different ways that this can uh, can articulate and can be played out altogether. This is definitely the more bearish kind of scenario that I have in my head. Uh, there are alternatives to this, though. You could also see it as a 
move here, move here, double bottom, coming back down to that previous low at about 80 cent and then take off from there. And it is also possible that actually, you know, you don't see this at all, but I would anticipate that we do. And I think that if Bitcoin pulls back down the way that it, I'm expecting Bitcoin to, then I would expect Stepan here and uh, GMT to do the same. Guys, I'm going to leave the video there. If you have found this useful and informative, hit the like button. I really do appreciate that. If you happen to be new to the channel, then why not go ahead and subscribe, tap the bell, select all notifications, and in doing so, you will be kept up to date with everything that we do here at Cheeky Crypto. With all that said, done that out of the way, I hope everyone has a fantastic day and I'll catch you all in the next one.